Hello friends, it's Angelina and Dima from Walking Ancient World and we are back to Alicante region to do some more amazing hikes. Today we are going to do 12.5 km Stork Road Trail around one of the most important magical mountains in Alicante, Puch Campana. We've already done the climb to the peak of Puch Campana earlier this year and was an absolutely fascinating hike, so we decided to get back to this area that is definitely one of the most beautiful areas for hiking in the region, with plenty of trails to choose from. We expect to enjoy some wonderful bird eye views of the coast and have some demanding terrain to go through. So it promises to be an exciting hike! We are starting our hike at the Fond de Mali, close to the Finestrat village, and we are going to follow the trail of PRCV289, which is the white yellow marked one, and it's called Volta al Puch Campana, which means the tour around Puch Campana basically. So we expect the marking to be quite good. And we are doing the circle in the anti-clockwise direction, because we read that it is the better trail to go through, because the ascent is quite steep and rocky, and it's better to do like going uphill than downhill. So we're going this way, around the mountain, and yeah, it's already the impressive view, and it's expected to be very, very beautiful. The area around the Puch Campana is considered to be of a great environmental value and so it is a protected area because there are lots of herbs, plants and bushes that are endemic to this area and can be quite rare and it is a pleasure to go through it because there is lots of aromas and very pleasant smells around. Now it is the winter season and the weather is quite cool and nice, around 12 degrees Celsius and this is the best season to hike in Alicante. You're going to feel most comfortable and you can just wear your windproof jacket and be good to go, especially going uphill. You won't be cold but it would be just the perfect situation. Now we go to La Foya del Cap, which is the small plateau of about 500 meters high and from this moment on the path will continue to ascend up i would think the most steep and the most difficult part right now but for now it's been going a little bit flat so it's been a nice right terrain
now I start having wonderful views of the peak Puch Campana, which has a legendary presence in the province of Alicante. And that is for a reason, because of its prominent figure, conical shape and unevenness of terrain, it makes it one of the most demanding hike in Alicante to climb to the peak actually. So this area is very popular for the hiking fans. The climb to the peak is classified as difficult because of it being the second highest peak in the region of 1400 meters high. Now as we are walking here, it honestly feels like spring. On the start of the summer, as we were living in Pyrenees, it was around the same temperature and feel, but there is lots of blooms and blossoms, and also the bird songs, which is pretty fascinating and so joyful to walk in this atmosphere. completed the hardest part of the trail, climbing up to Fonte Silcida, which was several kilometers long and around 300 meters up. It was quite steep and rocky indeed, with lots of loose rocks, so we're happy we did it uphill, because the downhill would be hard in the knees. And from now on the trail smooths up all the way to Col Poet, which is another several kilometers of the hike, that will go uphill, but it will be quite gentle. Now getting to the east side of the mountain, closer to Fonsalcida, we got a very quite cold and strong northeastern wind, we think. And yeah, so we had to get out our heads and unfortunately we couldn't stay any longer to enjoy the views and they are incredible here, as you can appreciate.
walking right now through one of the most beautiful areas on this hike where we have around many solid monumental rocks on all sides. They do look very Pyrenees-like because of their form and shape. And behind us we have a splendid view of the coastline, which is like very contrasty views. The mountains, rock mountains on one side and the coastline on the other side. And it's just pretty mind-blowing, to be honest with you. And yeah, it's like very fragile ecosystem around us with lots of flowers and bushes. And this is where we believe was one of the devastated fires of 2009 happened and it burned down over 1000 hectares. This was on this side of the slope and uh, down in the valley. So yeah, right now we can see that the land is recovering itself, fortunately with several pine trees and lots of other greenery. But yeah, it definitely takes time. And we hope the nature will replenish itself very soon because it's one of the most beautiful areas. to the north face of the mountain called the Poet and it's important strategic crossroad that can lead you to the Push Campana Peak as well as to size of the Circle Trail. And we're going to continue following the RCV 289 trail of white yellow marked which has been great so far and we didn't use any maps right in yeah. this case. So we've been happy with that and yeah get a little bit warmer because our hands are like freezing cold <laughs> and yeah because of the north wind but let's keep going. This north face of the Puch Campana is wonderful as far as the botany is concerned and flora and fauna in general. It has many particular trees such as ash and maple trees, home oaks and of course pine trees. Also we are pretty sure that you can meet the mountain goats, some wild boars, foxes, uh, rabbits or hares and also all kinds of different birds which we can hear, but we, c we can't always film, unfortunately. And neither we can film the animals, because they're always, of course, hiding and escaping. And most of them also are leading the nocturnal lifestyle. So that's why it is challenging, but I would love to spot at least the squirrel or some bird.
are now more than halfway done with the trail. I will have around four and a half kilometers left to the Fond de Mali. And the incredible views still continue. They are all around us. Wonderful mountain ranges. The peak, the Atana, which is the highest peak in the region, is on the right side now. And yeah, we can be happier with this trail at the moment. Also, as of now, the sun is shining on our faces, which is pretty nice. And yeah, we'll follow the continuous descent from now on. And we'll enjoy the rest of it. finish our trail, descended to Fond de Mali. It was very picturesque circular hike with lots of splendid views of the mountains and sea coast. The marking was great, we didn't use our maps at all and the weather was quite good with a comfortable temperature and we just got a bit of cold wind but it was very comfortable overall. And we just wanted to share an interesting fact that we've noticed while walking in the anti-clockwise direction. So we're standing in the north face of the mountain and we haven't seen any people ascending alongside us to the same direction. All the people we saw were descending down in the opposite direction. So we don't know why it happened like that. And our most logical assumption of why it was like that was because maybe people are getting the best coast of use when they're going the clockwise direction. So when you're descending down, you have all this use of the coastline. This is what we thought about it. But if you have other opinions or if you know it for sure, let us know in the comments. We'd love to know that because it was just like the pattern, you know, all the people were going in the opposite direction to ours. Yeah. So it was very like interesting to notice. So we completed the hike in about five hours. But keeping in mind we were filming and stopping a lot. For a normal hiker it will take less time. So summing up this video we can definitely say that this circular Puch Campana hike makes it to the top of our favorite hikes that we've done in all of the Spain, our favorite day hikes, I mean. So this means something to us. I think this area is very, very beautiful and it's worth the visit. So we hope it will be inspiring to you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more day hikes and long distance hikes and hit notification bell to stay notified. And give this video a like to let YouTube know that this video was useful to you. We hope you have a wonderful day ahead of you and great hiking adventures wherever you are in the world. See you very soon in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.